everyone. Do you all like magic? I'm sure you do. So today we are going to listen to a magical story. So let's listen to the story. The name of the story is The Magic Paintbrush. The Magic Paintbrush. So this is a story about a girl named Rose and her magic paintbrush. Rose loved drawing, but she was very poor and she did not have pens or pencils. She drew pictures in the sands with sticks. She used to draw in the sand using sticks. And one day she was drawing on sand and an old woman saw Rose and said, Hello, here's a paintbrush and some paper for you. Rose was so happy. Wow, for me, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Thank you for this paper and paintbrush. I would love to draw something on this. She was very excited. Now she was smiling and thinking, what should I paint on this paper? She thought and thought and she looked around. She saw a duck in the pond and said, yes, I know, I'll paint a duck. So she started painting the duck. Suddenly, the duck flew off the paper. It came into life. Wow, a magic paintbrush, she said. Wow, that's lovely. Whatever I paint, it comes into life. That's amazing. Rose was a very kind girl, so she started helping people in her village with that magic paintbrush. She painted a cow for the farmer, she painted some pencils for the teacher, and she painted some toys for all the children. They all were very happy and they thanked Rose. They said, thank you so much, we are so happy. She was helping everybody. She was very kind and helpful. And one day, a king heard about the magic paintbrush and he sent a soldier to find Rose. And the soldier started telling Rose to come with her to the king's castle. He said, come with me. The king has called you. The king wants you to paint some money for him. Rose said, oh, but he's already rich. I don't want to pay any money for him. He said, no, you have to go to the king. So he forcefully took her to the king's castle. And now the king started shouting at her, paint me a tree with lots of money. Paint, paint, paint. I want a lot of money. He started shouting, but Rose was a brave girl. She did not listen to him. She said, no, I will not do that. This is just to help poor people. But when Rose said, said no, the king, he locked her in the prison. Prison means jail. So the king put Rose in the jail. But Rose was having the magic paintbrush. So what she did? She painted a key to open the prison. So she opened with the help of that key and she made a horse too to escape. But as soon as she was escaping, the king started chasing after her. The king was chasing her and then she made a big hole with the magic paintbrush and splat! Oh, the king fell in. That's the end of the story. And today, Rose uses only her magic paintbrush to help people who really, really need help. So, what did you learn from the story? We learned that we should not be greedy and we should be helpful and kind towards others. Also, when somebody is not right, is wrong, we should be brave enough to say a big no.
Now let's do an activity. Let's draw something magical with a white crayon and paint it to bring it to life. So we need to draw something with the white crayon and then we are going to put paint over it and make a magical painting. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.